This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Fundamentals Express course. I'm on Lesson 6, Creating Art with Code, Puzzle 5. Let's see what we have. Oh no! Starla's pet alien just flew away. Let's help the space woman. Okay. Finish Starla's rocket so she can chase her pet. Each side of the triangle is 100 pixels long and 120 degree angles. Ah, so this is similar to what we were doing before. So I think we need to turn right now. Watch, if I just go forward, what, oh, oh, well that could work, but then I'm going to need to turn, I think. Let's see. Not sure, but you can always be wrong in code and then kind of debug and fix it. It's one of the good things about code. Oh, that did, okay. Well, let's try this. I'm going to do another 120 degree turn, last part of the triangle, and one more move forward. Whoopsies. Ooh, what if I... Aha! Went the wrong way. So going left took care of it. I switched it out for a right one. And this is another one, right? So this is six lines of code. Oh, well, it's five, but it could be, well, but you could save some time by using one of these repeats. So if I turn it uh, one more time left at the end, it wouldn't change anything. I would just end facing how I started. And look, I do the exact same thing three times. Encoding, that's redundancy, right? I could just get rid of these. Redundancy means you're doing the same thing over and over. And instead, I could put a 3 here, and now it will automatically run this once, go back to the top twice, and then three times. So it should do the exact same thing. But uh And we use less code. So that's efficient, and that's what programmers go for. So either one's correct. Um, that's the technical better method, though. Let's keep uh, going.